Ugh, fuck. Uh, some point I will piss on a dog. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous over the dive all day here in the end times. End times is fucking right. Friday, March 18, 2022. Guys, I'm supposed to be out of here in 18 days. I have enough fucking physical labor that I need to do in the next 18 days that would whip a healthy guy half my age. And I am completely fucked. Completely, totally fucked. Jesus Christ, the difference a day can make. Not the difference a day can make, the difference that one fucking second can make in your life. I guess I'm supposed to be glad right now that I'm not dead. I'm supposed to be happy I'm not dead. Not sure if I'm happy about that, but I guess I could be paralyzed from the fucking neck down. Uh, I guess I could be in a goddamn body cast. I guess I could be getting a metal plate put in my fucking head right now. Yes, as I said yesterday, karma is a bitch. For those who missed my last video, I had a small chainsawing accident yesterday. Small chainsawing accident. Oh, fuck. And this chainsaw shit, it, it, it ain't no joke. I know two people who uh, checked out doing this shit. Uh, I mean, it happens like that. It's no fucking joke. Uh, anyway, I don't know how long I'm going to be fucked for with this knee. My God. I mean, it goes from pretty much from my the bottom of my spine to my left little toe. This screaming, shooting pain. Fuck. At least I've uh, got some pain pills. Brother Roy, I really want to thank you for the tramadol. Oh, God. So now at least I'm flying on pain pills. But I did do eat some San Pedro cactus last night and uh, enjoyed, a, uh, enjoyed a mescaline break from uh, this fucking knee. So at least for about three hours, uh, this pounding, throbbing... Then what I was dealing with last night was one of these fucking whipper wills. The you know, not a whipper. Actually, I called a Chuck Will's widow. This fucking nightmare. Chuck Will's widow. 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 Fuck. Ready to kill that mother fucking bird. Oh Jesus. Yeah, this is, I, I, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm 62. Let's see, uh, I've had a fracture. I figure this is certainly in the top 10 uh, injuries I've had in my, uh, in my damn life. I mean, it's my head, my ear, my shoulder, but it's mainly this fucking thing. I mean, that was a fucking serious chunk I took yesterday with that goddamn tree falling on my head and uh, I've always managed to bounce back it has been when was the last time I guess it was the shoulder it was the uh, 
herniated shoulder at that fucking Christmas tree lot happened about, when was that now, four years ago when uh, my goddamn rib separated from my fucking uh, backbone, been dealing with this shit. So this is by far uh, the biggest smash I've had in uh, at least four years. And, uh, you know, this shit, how many people do I know? Do I know with some sort of uh, physical debility, debility uh, the guy right now, I can just about see his house, my neighbor Dave... He's about my age. He just got fucking knee surgery uh, a few weeks ago. The, the, the dude is completely fucked. Uh, Bella Lagrisi, how is your knee doing, brother? I'm going to have to call you, uh, call you Osama and get some advice about what the fuck I'm heading into and how long I'm going to be fucked for. How many, I mean, right here in the tribe, right here in the, I'm, I'm just thinking... Who do I know in the tribe who is not fucked up? I mean, is this like, is this like we're a bunch of damn gimps? Unfucking believable how many of us, uh, particularly over the age of 50, uh, are, have some serious goddamn uh, injury that we're dealing with. I mean, it's just, it, it, it completely eats your fucking brain. I just, just living in physical pain. You know, my mother, she, for the last 34 years of her life, she was in a, in a car wreck. 34 years that my mom has spent, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, long-term serious pain. If I thought I was going to hurt this fucking bad for the rest of my life, I would take the whole fucking bottle of Tramadol, the whole fucking bottle of, uh, do I have any Clonopin left? I would eat every fucking Tramadol, Clonopin, sleeping pill. Good fucking God. Uh, to, to think, I mean, to think about feeling like this for a week, I have no fucking idea. That uh, it gives you a whole new, a whole new, uh, you know how they always say you, 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 that you're supposed to feel grateful when you know that there's people a lot more miserable than you are. So I guess I'm grateful uh, it makes me feel grateful that I am uh, not as miserable as some of the people I know dealing with pain issues. Uh, and I'm probably not. I mean, I, I, I have some friends, or I mean, right here in the tribe dealing with shit. That, that I mean, I, I, I don't know how you guys just do it every day. This is a fucking joke. I mean, I can barely get in my trailer, fuck, trying to get in or out of bed. Uh, good Lord, thank God that uh, these pain pills cause constipation. The very thought right now of, uh, of, uh, of sitting on a five-gallon bucket, if I can ever get on the fucking five gallon bucket, that's the easy part, is how the fuck am I gonna get back up from that motherfucking bucket? So let the constipation from the uh, pain pills kick in for a week. Oh, Jesus. Sancho's belly, can you hear Sancho? So Sancho is sick. Uh, gorgeous fucking day. I was supposed to be back up there chainsawing down more trees. Well, that tree put an end to that. Ah. 
I'm sure it will be at least November before I get back up there again. So you better believe that fucking tree in one second put an end to uh, me uh, chainsawing. If I can, if I can uh, crank up a chainsaw and be out there uh, doing what I was doing yesterday in the next three months, I'll be shocked. I mean, if I were in New York right now, I'd be totally fucked. Right now, there's no way I would be able to make it up to the, you know, the hillside campgrounds. No fucking way. I could even think about gardening right now. The, the very thought of, of gardening, even with raised beds, I would be completely, totally fucked right now. If I had a job that I had to go to, imagine if, if uh, I was depending on, you know, being able to walk around on a fucking job, I would be fucked. Goes without saying, I don't have one fucking penny of insurance. No, it's, uh... Yep. It's called fucking karma. <sighs> Jesus, I mean, it's like my whole goddamn spine from here all the way down. So far, I've pulled four ticks off of me. Sancho already has Lyme's disease and some other. Here's one on his belly. God damn it, dog. These things are tiny. They're, the, they're half the size of a flea. Good God, dog. Fucking dogs full of ticks. I, I'm sure I have at least four more ticks on me right now. Anyway, that's my life, and uh, for any of for for any of you dealing with uh, fucking physical disabilities, uh, you know, I I have a whole new level of sympathy and empathy for any of anyone in the tribe dealing with this shit on a daily basis. I mean, it fucking sucks. Uh, fucking sucks. But I gotta get outside to my recliner. Get out to my recliner and uh, finish the circle by Dave Eggers. Since I will not be doing any chainsawing or anything else today. That's for goddamn sure. Get some reading in while I still can. I think I can still turn the pages of a fucking book. And if you're not in pain, just just, just thank your fucking lucky stars. I mean, this shit sucks. Anyway, little dog, do you need some Pepto-Bismol for that belly or not? Right now I gotta get out of this fucking chair, little dog. Jesus fucking Christ. What a fucking lie.